Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download my favorite biome mod and that is Biomes Oplenty. This adds in tons of biomes to the overworld and the nether in Minecraft 1.17.1 or well any version of Minecraft really but it's now updated to Minecraft 1.17.1 and that's what we're going to be going over in this video today. First and most though we do have our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much we have our own server, played our breakdown Craft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running quickly and easily. Once you have your server up and running, come back to this video and we'll teach you how to get bombs of plenty. So let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's actually going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting bombs of plenty. It's a text tutorial. You can follow it at your own pace if for whatever reason you're having trouble keeping up the video or something like that. Once you're here though, you want to click on this yellow download bombs of plenty button. That's going to take us off to bombs of plenty's official download page and we can come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.17. However, look at this. Look at all the cool biomes this adds in. You've got these different nether biomes. You've got these cool overworld biomes. It's, it's, it's really the best biome mod out there in my opinion. Like, absolutely incredible. I think at one point it was over 40 biomes added. Insane stuff. Anyway, we want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.17. Then we want to go over here to Biomes of Plenty on 1.17.1. You can see Biomes of Plenty 1.17.1 and click on the orange download button next to it. That will then take us off to the uh, basically downloading page where after a few seconds our download will begin and in the bottom left we will see Biomes of Plenty has been downloaded. We want to go ahead and keep that file on Google Chrome. I'm Zell Firefox. You'll be asked to save it in the center of the screen and that's exactly what you want to do. Now let's go ahead and move on to downloading Forge. Biomes of Plenty is a Forge mod and we need Forge for it. So you want to go to the third link down below Hello, that's going to take you here. This is our official, basically, Forge guide. We're going to go over the basics of getting Forge in this video, though. Once you're here, just scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. That will take us off to the official Forge download page, where we want to make sure it says MC 1.17.1 here. If it doesn't, come over here to the left-hand side, click on Plus, and then click on 1.17.1, and then we'll see MC 1.17.1 appear. We can come under Download Latest and click on the Installer. After a few seconds, it will take us off to Add Focus, where STOP! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button that's going to here after about 10 seconds in the top right. So you can see mine's now up there, but you had to wait 10 seconds to get there. So wait about 10 seconds on this page. Might be a different ad or something like that, but it'll say forwards in the top left, and then go ahead and click the red skip button in the top right. When you do that in the bottom left on Google Chrome, forge 1.17.1 will begin downloading. You can see it says forge 1.17.1 there, so we are safe to keep the file. I'm Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. Again, as long as it has forge in the title, you're 100% safe to keep it. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on my desktop, we are going to have bombs of plenty and forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Put that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you will find Forge and Bombs of Plenty. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're going to be working on Forge here. And if your logos look different than mine, like your, your little file icons look different, that's perfectly fine. I'm sure you had to fix that here in one second. But first, let's just see if we can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do and it does, doesn't open it? Or what if your logos are different and that's just for some reason really bothering you? I get it. Well, in those cases, what you want to do is go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Mine was plenty being a Minecraft mod. You need a specific version of Java for it, and this it makes sure you get that specific version. So go to this simple three-step tutorial, get the right version of Java for it, and then you'll be good to go. Now for some of you, you might still need to run the jar fix. Also linked down below, that's going to take all the .jar files to your computer and link them back to Java. However, do keep in mind that uh, basically you don't always have to do that. You only have to do that if you have Java installed and something's not working. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is going to open up this mod system install for Forge here, where you just want to click on Install Client and click OK. And just let this install. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut. I'll see once it's installed. So as you can now see, Forge is wrapping up. There we go. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.17.1. The only reason this may not work, by the way, is if you've never played Minecraft 1.17.1 without any mods or anything like that. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17.1, come back, and you should be good. So install client profile forge we can go and click ok it will close out of that now we need to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher 
So once we've got our Minecraft launcher opened up here, we want to make sure the Forge profile is selected. For us, it's automatically selected in the bottom left. As you can see Forge, and most importantly, it says 1.17.1 dashboard on it. If you've got that, go ahead and click play and click play again. You're good to go. However, for those of you that don't have this Forge profile here, you want to go up here to the installations at the top and then make sure this modded button is checked. As you can see, we deselected it, Forge disappears, click on modded, Forge reappears. Again, 1.17.1 there, we're good to go ahead and click play. But for some of you, you will have Forge or you won't have it at all, even after modded, or it won't say 1.17.1 dashboard under any of those cases you need to click create a new installation. There's new installation there. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com though. Well, I'm going to with that because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. Over 150 players online every single day. Go play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. If you want the best survival server out there, go play on it. You'll love it. Nevertheless, once you've got your name there, we can go ahead and click on the version drop down box. And most important part of this is clicking on this version drop down box and clicking on 1.17.1 dash forward. Right there it is for me. Go ahead and click on that. Now then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so we can see in game. Again, the most important part is making sure version is 1.17.1-4 and then clicking the green create button in the bottom right. We have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile and under that we have 1.17.1-4. Go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button. You're going to get this warning basically saying, hey, you're playing Minecraft. Are you okay with that? Go ahead and you say you are good and click play. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Forge installed. And unfortunately, I'm going to do a quick jump cut here because of lag. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. And believe it or not, the hard part is over. It's easy to install bombs plenty from this point. You just want to click on the mods tab here on the Minecraft main menu. And then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. So again, from the main menu, click on mods. Then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. This is going to open up the mods folder here. Where you just want to take the biomes of plenty mod you downloaded and drag and drop it into the mods folder. That's simple and that easy. Take Bombs Plenty from your desktop, drag and drop it into the mods folder. Now we come back to Minecraft and Bombs Plenty isn't here. It's not going to be here until we click done and quit the game. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. Then once we've done that, we again want to make sure our forge is selected. So whether that's your forge profile or the profile you created, it should say 1.17.1 forge right down here. If it does, go ahead and click play. I'm going to do another quick jump cut, but just know Minecraft is opening with Bombs of Plenty installed. So once Minecraft is opened up with Bombs of Plenty, we can click on mods and see there is Bombs biomes oh plenty awesome stuff i was correct over 50 new biomes not 40 over 50 crazy stuff. We can then go ahead and create a new world. I would recommend running a new world with Bombs of Plenty. If you do have an old Bombs of Plenty world, it should work, but just know, back everything up because Bombs of Plenty is still in like beta. So early on, you could have issues. So Bombs of World, I didn't mean to type that, but that's where we're going with Bombs of World. Cool. I'll go ahead, one last final jump cut while the generation happens. You will get this warning saying, hey, you're using experimental world settings. Guess what? Of course you are. You're using experimental settings because Bombs of Plenty isn't default Minecraft. So just kind of giving you a random warning there. Uh, it's okay. You know that's happening. Go ahead, click proceed, and then the generation will start. I will see you once the generation is complete and we've loaded into the world to look at some awesome Bombs of Plenty biomes. So here we are in game, and I could not have planned that any better. We are automatically in a Bombs of Plenty biome. If you can't tell, we've got purple water. Um, you can hit F3 at any time, by the way, and see your biome right over here. And we can see that this is a Biomes O Plenty wetland. And we've got a really cool, like, willow block there. And I don't know what kind of water that is, but uh, it's uh, it's some scary water. So nevertheless, we do have a Biomes O Plenty biome right there. We'll try to find a few more here as well. I love that it spawned us right in one. That is really, really cool. Uh, this is uh, probably just a, yeah, it's a Minecraft biome. I was about to say, I don't think that one's going to be custom. Um, we should, though, be able to find another custom biome pretty quickly here. I always like to find more than one because, well, you know, it's not a fluke if I find more than one. And it's not an if, it's just a matter of when I find another biomes with plenty of biome. Uh, sometimes they do get pretty spread out. Biomes are pretty diverse in Minecraft these days, as it is in vanilla. So this mod really is kind of throwing in just a ton more different biomes. I think, is this going to be bombs plenty out here? This looks unique. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we're, we're coming up over one of my favorite bombs, the big evergreen forest. But yeah, we can see bombs of plenty, gravel beach, coniferous lakes, bombs of plenty, gravel beach, and fur clearing. And then here we go, the coniferous forest. I love these big evergreen forests because, and you'll see here, once we get down here on the like ground level, it's overwhelming. Like, <laughs> this is a lot. Like, look at this. Wow. You know, you, you you really have huge trees here, and you estimate or underestimate how big these are until you kind of get on the ground level, in my opinion. So yeah, one of the other awesome biomes there. We can also see if we can find a really, really pretty biome, like one of the ones with the pink trees or whatever. I forget exactly what those are called. So one quick second. I'll do a very fast jump cut just to see if I can find a... Ooh, look at this. This is actually really cool. These are the, uh, the small fur clearing. You can see these small trees of those. Like, that's really, really cool. It'd be cool if these grew into bigger trees. They don't, sadly. But still looks cool. So awesome stuff. 
We'll find one more, do a quick jump cut. So I think this is one of the uh, cooler biomes. As you can see, we have a dunes biome here, and this is right on the water. But most importantly, we can come over here and we have another sort of dunes biome. This is just kind of out in the ocean, a little bit of a weird, weird generation, but really, really cool nonetheless, because you do have these, these custom like, uh, you know, sea oats, if you will. That are going on it. And we also do have a shipwreck right here on this custom biome. So really cool stuff there. I did see off in the distance what I believe is going to be a, you know, additional biome. Maybe it's an extension of this dunes biome, but it could also be maybe a snow biome. I think that would be cool. But you can see these look really, really awesome. Got that little like uh, cave system going down into it there. You could do some really cool builds with this. Just saying. Some really, really cool builds. And uh, maybe this is what I saw off in the distance. Doesn't look like it. But there you go. We have now seen multiple different Bob's Plenty biomes. Uh, unfortunately, there's just a lot of them. And sometimes they are a bit hard to find. And that's why a mod like Nature's Compass can come into play, which is a mod video that we have uh, posted previously. So if you want to see how to get na uh, Nature's Compass, it's basically a bio-finding compass. We'll allow you to find any biome you want and be able to you know get directions right to it. So nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And I'm out. Peace.